All right, guys, welcome to Backcountry Life. I am Sam Oldham, and today we're gonna to talk about what is the best trail bike for beginners. Stay tuned. back with your life and so you are here because you're interested in trying to buy a dirt bike to go ride all that single track ride the trails but you're not sure which bike is going to be the best bike to buy so you have tons of different options which is good but then also at the same time can be confusing and you're not 100 percent sure so just to give you a little bit of background i've been dirt biking for a very long time i got started in dirt biking as an adult though so, and I ride a ton of single track, but I do like to ride some of the other stuff as well. But here's the thing. Most guys will say, you know, they'll listen to their buddies or someone or read online and they say, go out and buy a 450 four stroke dirt bike. I think that's a big mistake. The goal you have for single track or trail riding is to have as much fun as possible. And when you haven't started dirt biking and you haven't been dirt biking, you're a beginner, it's going to be scary, it's going to be very physically demanding, and you don't want a bike that's a big bore, lots of horsepower, that will just beat the crap out of you. My recommendation would be to get a dirt bike that has electric start, so that you're not constantly kicking it all the time, because you're going to kill the bike, you're going to dump the bike, that's normal, but you know when you have to kick the bike every time especially if you're in a situation that's a little bit off camber it really takes a lot of energy out of you and makes your experience worse so get a bike with electric start and luckily there are bikes from like 2005 on that have that magic e start button and there are two bikes in particular that i think that are very very reliable you can buy them used and they're pretty inexpensive as comparative to buying a brand new version of these bikes. And they both have electric start. So it would be the Honda CR250X. So the Honda CR-F250X. And also the Yamaha WR250. Those are the two bikes that I think are the very best beginner trail bikes, period. I mean, some guys will say, well, maybe like the XR250, the XR400 or something like that maybe but those two bikes have electric start they're very reliable they have a modern suspension a modern frame and they pretty much can be ridden anywhere and they will basically allow you to grow into the bike it's not too much horsepower as like a 450 or 252 stroke or 302 stroke or something like that it's going to be your best bet so that's what i would recommend doing if if you were a beginner and wanted to uh, buy a bike now if you don't want a four stroke there are some options to go two stroke and a lot of guys want to stay with the four strokes because they just seem like you know they're more familiar with them that's fine you can pick whatever you want but if you're going to do a two stroke bike and you don't want a four stroke i would recommend doing a smaller bore um, two stroke so beta actually has a couple really good options so beta has an, what they call the beta x trainer 300 it's a 300 two stroke but it's a detuned two stroke and it has a smaller frame and wheelbase, so it's a easier bike to learn on. And it's not as intimidating. Beta also just released for this year a uh, Beta RR200 two-stroke, which I had just spent an entire day on, and it's a really, really good bike. It has electric start, uh, good grunt power, not like the two strokes of old where it's all up on the upper end of the power band. It's a very good bike. Um, you know, there are some other brands out there, but just thinking, you know, collectively a smaller bore two stroke is, it would be good. But I think a two, 250, like a CRF 250X is a better, better bike to start on. So let me know what uh, you guys think or if you have any questions or comments. I personally started, my very first bike was a Honda, 2005 Honda CRF 250X. I love that bike. It was a great bike. It was a good, really good bike to learn on. Um, so hit me up in the comments if you uh, have any questions or anything like that and then the other thing is if you guys haven't 
already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow, follow us, like us, and thanks for watching.